In a pioneering research project, scientists at IBM and the University of Aberdeen have collaborated to see, for the first time, the structure of a marine compound from the deepest place on the Earth using an atomic force microscope. The results of the project open up new possibilities in biological research, which could lead to the faster development of new medicines in the future. For several years, scientists at the Marine Biodiscovery Centre at the University of Aberdeen have been focused on harnessing the potential of marine organisms as a source for the discovery of chemical compounds which could be used to develop new treatments for cancer, inflammation, infection and parasitic diseases. Professor Marcel Jaspers, the director of the Marine Biodiscovery Centre, comments on the challenges facing this research. The biggest um, problem in my field is, is determining the structure of unknown molecules that might have medical potential. Um, and often it takes as many weeks, uh, months, years to solve the structures of complex molecules. And being able to actually see the molecules under a microscope is just uh, stupendous. Last year, Professor Jaspers began work on a species of bacterium from a mud sample taken from the Mariana Trench. 10,916 metres below sea level. Using high-resolution mass spectrometry, the university quickly identified the chemical composition of the compound, but determining its exact molecular structure was more challenging. Even the use of state-of-the-art nuclear magnetic resonance techniques would not allow them to determine the exact structure. The scientists were left with four potential structures, none of which could be ruled out. Looking for an alternative method, Professor Jaspers contacted IBM scientists in Zurich, who last year, for the first time, imaged the anatomy or chemical structure of an organic molecule using an atomic force microscope, with the hope that they could do the same for the compound extracted from the deep sea bacterium. IBM scientist Leo Gross comments. We thought it's really a, a fun project, so we really liked it, and we asked we said yes, of course, we can try these molecules because it's something out of the ordinary that we usually do. And But we were, um, weren't very confident that we would be able to image these molecules, to bring them on the surface and see them. To their surprise, after one week, IBM scientists were able to image individual molecules with atomic resolution using a technique called non-contact atomic force microscopy. These images, together with the first principles calculations, confirmed the identification as Zephalandol A, which is actually known and originally isolated from a Taiwanese orchid. Nikolai Mole, a computational scientist at IBM, comments on the role of calculations in the project. Using the calculations, we can clearly identify that only one structure is a possibility uh, of that molecule. By, uh, Comparing the images, the uh, AFM high resolution images, and also the absorption geometry on the sodium chloride surfaces. The experiment was the first successful use of the atomic force microscope in the determination of what was at the time an unknown molecular structure. While a success, it came with some unique challenges. IBM scientist Fabian Mohn explains. Last year we demonstrated for the first time the use of this technique of molecular imaging with the example of a pentacene molecule. Now the compound we looked at in this work was different in several respects. The first difference is that it contains several different atomic species. In the case of pentacene we only had carbon and hydrogen atoms. But now this compound also contained nitrogen and oxygen atoms. The second difference was that it's uh, not lying completely flat on the surface. The adsorption geometry is non-planar. This also makes it uh, more difficult to image. The biggest difference, of course, was that we did not know beforehand what we expected as a structure. We did not know the molecule that we were looking at. And this was, of course, a big difference compared to the pentazine molecule. The results of this groundbreaking science will be published in Nature Chemistry. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting.